So, Jasper, Eli, you guys got done with the fight. We are going to skip to two to three days later, okay? Okay. So, what did you guys do the past three days? Somebody call it. Uh, okay. Tails. Okay, Jasper got Tails. So, yeah. 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 what have you guys been doing for the past three days? Uh, I guess for me, just recuperating and recovering. From the ass whooping you got? <laughs> Who's the one who got knocked out, though? That's the real question. <laughs> That's fair. Eli got his ass whooped. <laughs> but you only had 7 HP left. So over time, you guys did recover back to uh, full health. You only had 7 HP left, okay? I think I did yeah, pretty good. Okay, so if we can stop arguing about who, you know, whatever. Um, Argument. I know, whatever. No, 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 no. Uh, anyways. So you guys were just co recuperating and such? Yeah, you know, we was talking, uh, stuff like that. We played some goldfish. Uh, let's see. Jasper! You wake up, and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Or, sorry, 2 o'clock in the morning. As you hear off in the distance at the front door. Did you guys catch the knock? Did it work? Did yeah, my, yeah, my mic picked up the knock? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I was visiting it this time. Your I mom. Get up bed. What did you say? I get up out of bed. Okay. And I'll head to the front door. Is it is it like a glass type thing? Like uh, glass no, it's like a big ass wooden. It's a sexy wooden door. Is there a peephole? Uh, yeah. I look out the peephole. Uh, one second. Looking out of the people, you see... Sorry. This guy. Oh, it's him. He doesn't look aggressive like before. He looks like he wants to talk. I open the door. He looks at you, and its face kind of gets surprised that he they actually got the um, uh, address right. Hey, uh, how in the world do you figure out where we live? We're in a different country. <sighs> yeah, um, kind of a funny story. Um, we, I came here speaking on behalf of Red X, and we wanted to apologize. Oh, well, that's very thoughtful. And, um, we went after the wrong person. Mm, that sucks. The person we were going after killed one of our own. In cold blood. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. We were working with law enforcement to hunt them down, but kind of got out of hand. Yeah, there was kind of a hole in our classroom. So... I don't... I don't know. Aside from, um... That kid that we tried to attack, would you be okay with getting the other people in your group and we can all talk? Yeah, just just wait here for a moment as I shut the door and lock it. Mm-hmm. Wakey, wakey. Eli, you wake up to calls. a really suspicious feeling. Like, something isn't... Something's not right the second you wake up. Okay. Uh... Hey, morning. I'm talking to Jasper. Uh, you're not next to Jasper. You're in your bed, bro. You didn't just teleport to Jasper. I thought Jasper woke me up. I was running through the holes. Didn't go into your room. Oh, God. Jasper, you're 
Uh, Mike's being really weird, dude. Oh, wait. I thought I just heard Jasper say fuck. No, no. <laughs> Bro, Jasper's turning ghetto. <laughs> no. He's going bad. Do you know? <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm in my room alone? Yeah. Okay. Why, why'd you say alone like that? I don't <laughs> Like somebody yeah. would be with you? <laughs> I didn't know. Oh. Okay, I wanna get up and stretch and you know. Yeah. And then I wanna go. Uh, you hear Jasper brush. starting to shout through the halls. I wanna quickly brush my teeth and uh, go to see what the uh, what it is Jasper's yelling about. Jasper, you see Eli come out of the uh, come out of the halls as talk amongst yourselves, I guess. Hey, so, uh, a guy from Red X wants to apologize if you're going at the wrong guy, but maybe you should be careful. Uh, I don't know, just stand on guard. He wants to talk. Okay, I feel like that's almost definitely 100% a trap. Okay, you got, like, a weapon or something? None uh, of you guys have a weapon. You're teenagers. I start shimmying my feet. <laughs> you're teenagers. Yeah, I start shimmying my feet, Devin, over to the door. I follow him. The <laughs> Eli, <laughs> the time <laughs> at which you move, not the level of movement. You know, like where you like do small walks. Yeah, I know, but like, if you're activate, yeah. if you're actively holding up kinetic energy, uh, then you would have gotten three, getting to the door. Okay. Sorry, um, two. <laughs> Now, I want to go away from the door and hide somewhere and start walking in circles. And wait for ja uh, Jasper, I, I need you to give me a signal if you need help. Okay, I'm going to be back here. Okay, I look through the people again. He's still just standing there, waiting patiently. I carefully unlock the door, standing on guard, and open it. Okay. So... I'm not sure where the others went off to, but I do have Negan. He's, he's in the background. As he just uh, says, I, I know this is a weird offer between a guy that just held you all up. Uh, may I come in? It's storming outside. Uh, I look over at Negan, as he's practically saying, yeah, no. Yeah, uh... Yeah, he's shaking his head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on in. You want something to eat or drink? Uh, no. We just, I guess we just gotta make sure the doors are closed. Don't want the water getting in. He just shuts the door behind him. Do you have a fireplace, Kevin? What? What do you say, Jasper? Uh, do we have a fireplace? <clears throat> yeah, in your living room. <coughs> Eli, what uh, were you gonna say? Okay, out of character, them were the exact words A was saying. Like, he went, make sure to shut the doors, don't want the water coming in. Okay, I think that's kind of suspicious. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, hey, Negan. Yeah. Can you get some firewood and get the fireplace started? Sure, as I continue shimmying over to the wood pile. Alright, yeah, no, you guys, like, uh, okay, you, you can just click a button and it starts a fire. Y'all got one of them fancy, fancy houses. Oh. I start... Getting random remotes and clicking buttons. Twenty-four. Wow, that is so good. <laughs> okay, as he just uh, like grabs a towel and just sets it on the couch, kind of like double folding it to make sure. Um, no water is going through. Yeah. 
Man, with all your technology and finding your address, why didn't you bring your umbrella? Uh, umbrellas are a status of power, and I don't feel like carrying one around. Umbrellas are a status of power? Really? Well, it's typically the stronger people that carry around umbrellas. That's kind of, that's kind of stupid. Devin, am I still hidden, or? What, Eli? Am I still hidden? Uh, no, you're walking around in circles, Eli. It's pretty obvious to see. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to just do that. More. Yeah, um, not walking around in circles. That's just kind of a reason thing to do. I'm not really paying attention to that, but now that you point it out... You know, I'm not sure why he does that, but I do have an idea. He builds up kinetic energy in his body. That was my idea. From the looks of it, if what? it stops moving, it expels out. Yes, yes. And you know, I gotta keep my friends safe, you know? So I'm gonna continue walking in circles. If you just get my go go juice up, in case, you know. Because says... y'all did attack us. He says, if you just level up a bit more, then you'd probably be able to outsource it instead of just constantly having to move. What does that mean? You get strong enough, you don't have to move in order to keep your kinetic energy in a bank. You just okay. have a bank already that you can keep it in, you can steal it. <clears throat> exactly. Thank you for the advice. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, on behalf of uh, my leader and especially Stitch, we came here to say sorry. Stitch, is that that guy that was in our classroom, you know, kicking chairs and whatnot? Yeah. That's the crazy dude, yeah. Yeah, no. Funny story, I cut his head off, it rolled back onto his body. Yeah, you can't, uh -huh. you can't kill Stitch. Yeah. Nobody can. So, like, is his body immortal, or is it, is his soul killable? He's cursed. In a... So he's pretty... Go on. In a weird way, he is just eternal. So he just, like, cannot die? Under any circumstance, no. If he's fully what destroyed, his body will just get reset to a 17-year-old kid. No. He's... Sorry? So he's a trump card. He's a little over 250 years old. He's not our trump oh. card, though. I am. Oh. Why don't they just brainwash him into being, like, a good person? You can't! He doesn't have a mental anymore. He's, oh. just He's just insane. Yeah, he lost it. I think it had something to do with his ex, but... Who's his ex? She was this really nice, calm, gentle girl, and she died in front of him a long time ago. Oh, no. And that broke him. But we're not here to talk about Stitch. We're here to talk about Red X. Yeah. I do want to request something. Though. Go on. Now that you guys know that we exist, that's a problem. Uh-huh. That's an issue. So... Any proposition as to what we can do to solve that? I mean, uh, I mean, we can give you our word. I mean, if that's anything. Like, or like, what do you mean? 
Are, can we not know about you at all, or do, can we not tell other people about <laughs> it's you? It's just really preferred that you don't know about us. But not telling people would be great. Uh, I mean, I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't no snitch. You know to snitch, you have to be involved, right? Oh. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. If you see a bunch of people doing gang activity and tell the cops, that's what you're supposed to do. It's being a civilian. If you're Yeah, it's if, also being a snitch. No, it's not being a snitch. Also, please don't interrupt me. Uh, oh. If you are a part of the gang and your gang's doing activity and you guy, go and rat out on them, that's what makes you a snitch. No, well, that's being a rat. A snitch is a rat. No, a rat is the one a part of the people who snitch A snitch can be anybody. Seriously? I'm almost... So uh, if you watch some dude get... Uh, so if you watch... Go out and watch some dude get his fucking head cut off and then broadcast it all over news TV. Everybody that watches it goes against it or tells other people about it or nations. Every nation is a snitch. Right? No, I would not. You know I, I would snitch on someone who cut off the head. That is like, if someone's just like doing some spray painting and you're like, hey, they over there vandalizing. That's the what property. you're supposed to do. That's, That's illegal. illegal. That's no. illegal. That's committing a crime, bro. Bro. No. <laughs> okay, let's continue the session. Oh, that was all in character. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Anyway. You can't be a snitch if you're not involved. I'm sticking with that. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm back. So. Who is going to. Like, the. What is it? What? What is it you came to offer? I didn't come to offer you guys anything. I came to... Address the issue. Yeah. Since I'm okay. the most level-headed out of all of them. Well, I guess that's a good thing. I don't really want to get killed. Yeah. I, I killed? Not so much. I mean... We, in a uh, way, we, we don't decide what apology. happens to you. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. I said I accept the apology. Like I said, in a way, we don't decide what happens to you. The boss man does? No. I said we. Who does? I don't know. Whoever gets you first. I don't know, do we got a hit on us? No, that's not what I meant. But it doesn't really matter what I meant. Um, if that's all, unless you guys have something else to talk about. He just stands up. I'm gonna skedaddle. Okay. So, well, I, I was kind of zoning out for a little bit. That was in character, I was doing something for a while. Um, I was kind of zoning out there for a little bit. Did you guys like come to a deal about us knowing about you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, just don't tell anybody about us and we'll be good. Yeah, we won't. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, no. It's not oh, a threat. Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like one. No, it's, it's not. It's just kind of a warning, I guess. Yeah, it's a threat. As he just starts leaving. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I need to go outside to get uh, away from the house, you know, because I've been shimmying this entire time. Nice mansion you guys have, by the way. Yeah, Thank it's not you. nice. Yeah, I start heading outside. He's walking outside, too. He's not even looking behind him. Like, he's not, um, what's the word? He's not being cautious at all. 
yeah, I run away from them kind of just like to release all this pent up energy because I didn't want to do that in front of in the house. Okay. All right. Uh, so now I'm gonna run back to Jasper. Mm hmm. So, where did he come from? Talking to Jasper? Yeah, no, the dude's out of the house and he's gone. Yeah. I don't know if I'm talking to Jasper. But is he not here? Jasper? Doing something at the moment. Please wait. Please hold. So what is it you'd like to do, Mila? You're all alone. Oh. Uh, I come back in to talk to Jasper. Yeah, that's... That's I it? Was gonna say, I was gonna say, um... Where did he come from? Jasper, are you here? Alright, I'll pause. What would you all like to do? Oh, uh, uh, Eli, you came up and talked to Jasper. What, uh, what were you going to say? Go ahead. Yeah, where did that guy come from? So, we was, we was at, in the blood rush field, me and Nix. Uh, we heard a boom, and then that guy comes, and he wants to stall us from something so we don't go in there. Uh, then we hear a boom, and then the guy goes. And then we find the stitch guy. And then Leon takes us here. As something comes to both of your guys' heads, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Who'd we fool? Hey, so, did that guy come in here to do something? I don't know. So what would you guys like to do? Um, uh, I want to go train. Eli, I'm not going to let you train. I'm not letting you guys farm out stat points. Me. Uh, okay. Um, what, how far is the town from here? You guys are living in the city. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jasper, I'm gonna go find a job. It's three o'clock in the morning, dude. Two o'clock in the morning. Oh. You might Jasper. An application. Jasper, again. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Hey, so. It just won't get out of your head. There's this, like, saying, won't get out of my head. Fool me once, shame on. Me, fool me twice. No, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That. Uh, and these are voices in your head. No, I mean it's just a saying that won't get out. It's not like a voice or anything, you know. Just <laughs> remember stuff. Did you? Um. Did you fool anybody? I'm sorry. I can't believe you guys <laughs> aren't doing the most obvious thing. This is great. Oh, I want to use uh, intuition. Nope, not happening. Oh. Um, Can I use my intuition? No, I'm not telling you. I'm not letting you guys use the stats anymore. I'm, I'm going to tell you when oh. something is going on. Okay. Yeah, um, to promote you guys being in character more. Okay. okay. So, uh, Jasper, something's wrong. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Jasper, that dude did not just come there to talk. Hey, listen, that guy, I, I got this feeling. He, he didn't just come here to talk. He did something. So, oh, cool. do me a favor and... Wait, he has like these shard type things. Maybe he's using one as a drone? As I look up at the ceiling and all around and see if I can see one. There's nothing at the ceiling. It's not all around. I'm just looking Except all around. for these like little claw marks. They're like the size of a human hand. 
I closely examine them. Uh, they look like they'd come from a dark rin that has like claws or something like that. Why did he claw at it? It doesn't look like it was any of his drones that were all circling around him. From what you saw last time and from what you saw this time. So, Megan, I got this keen feeling that he fooled us. Did he fool us or did you fool him making him mad? Why? How would I fool him? I don't know what you do in your spare time. Uh, so you think he's fooling us? Yeah. How something, so? Something isn't right. I don't know. He just did something. He, he came here not just to talk. Yeah. No, for real. He's he's creepy. I wonder if he's listening to us right now. I mean, he's a nice dude and all, but he is creepy. I mean, I tell him that to his face if he asks me. Unless he took it as like a, like a bad insult, then I'd be like, "Hey, man, this is a joke." <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't believe you guys can't get this. You'll figure it out, and once you guys realize, you'll be like, "Oh, I'm new, man." <laughs> so he clawed, and he fooled us. It wasn't I'm him. He was right in front of y'all. Okay, how do we know he clawed? That could have jumped been there from the previous owners in this place. I just don't have a good feeling. I mean, I'm not putting the pieces together. I mean, maybe I'm stupid or something. <laughs> you don't have a good feeling yet. You're not doing anything about it. I, I want to focus on the not good feeling. It's just a bad feeling about him, about the dude, just the situation specifically, not him. Does my life, can I like focus to see if my life feels like it's going, is or going to be in danger? Not your life. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Hey, let me let me pat myself down real quick. I just start patting myself down. You're fine. He didn't bug you or anything like that. Did he bug me? No. Okay. You'll get this, guys. Um, what was the quote again? Huh? Okay, what was the quote again? Fool me once, shame on you. Me. No, shame I thought on it was you. you. Yeah, shame on you, shame on you. Shame on you. Jasmine, I'm gonna turn you. Okay. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yep, that is the thing. Huh. <laughs> we should call it a take the Gosh, <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Okay, so uh, what are y'all gonna? Wanna... So what are y'all gonna do wanna... now? What? Wait, I, I can't tell a detective about what happened. Never mind. I was about to call the detective. So are y'all wanting to go home or uh, go to bed or stay up or what? I want to stay up and watch TV and then. For like 20 minutes of that bed. <laughs> okay. Jasper, what is it you're wanting to do? Jasper! Jasper! Oh my gosh, when you figure it out, you guys are gonna be like, oh! Oh shit! I wanna call. 29 minutes, I've been pausing. Oh, Alright, go ahead, guys. I know. Oh. <laughs> I know, I'm losing my shit. 
Wait, that was only 29 minutes? It felt like two hours. Guys, just play the session, damn it. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed after watch my Twin Mixer TV. <laughs> okay. Jasper, what is it you wanna do, bro? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed too. Alright. After a while, you guys wake up for your alarms for school. Although that bad feeling has never left. Okay, do you think we're allowed to tell Mr. Leom he showed up? Jasper. Well, Mr. Leom already knows about Red X, so... Okay, I'll let you tell him then. What, huh? So what, do you guys, so what do you guys want to do? I'm not telling him. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Uh, I want to go for go to school. Jasper? Get ready for school and go to school. All right. After a while, you guys, you know, y'all both get to school. As um, when y'all sit down, presumably, Mr. Leon just kind of looks at, you, uh, looks at you two and says, huh, he's not here. Weird. Whoa. Uh, I, can I, okay, I got a question for you. Did he get sick? Mr. Leon says. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, Mr. Leon, I got a question for you. What? So, if someone by Red X were to come visit you at your house and tell you you can't tell anyone you know about them, okay? Would you be allowed to tell anyone about the experience? I mean, they're trying to keep their organization secret, so, I guess. Okay, but am I allowed to talk about, like... I guess so, I don't know, dude. To a person who already knows about Red X? I guess so. Okay, that happened to us. Why is A not here? Seriously, is he sick? Because he never uh, skips school. Wait. Wait, hello... Oh, oh crap. Red X, the guy from Red X came in the house. He could have. I started you know, booking at home. You guys got visited yeah. by Red. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As uh, uh, Eli, he follows you. Uh, you guys have a t uh, you guys have to teleport home with Mr. Leon. He has a button. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so quick summary. Uh, lightning guy Boop, came teleport. and to visit Jasper, and um, we he came in the house and he everything seemed fine. But we, we both had a bad gut feeling, and in his head of Jasper, they said, "Fool me uh, once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me." And uh, we've had a bad feeling ever since, and that all happened last night. Now A is missing. As uh, you guys all get teleported home. I run to A's room. Uh, A typically stays in the same room as Ray. Since um, he doesn't feel comfortable sleeping in any other, uh, any other room. Yeah, I do that. Okay, uh, Ray is passed out, but A isn't anywhere to be found. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're so stupid. They got him. I told you, Jasper. Oh, I told you, Jasper. I told you. <laughs> they didn't go after the wrong person. They went after the right person. I knew it. We should have just killed him. Mr. Leon just smacks you upside the head, Eli. I'm sorry. We need to get your friend back as soon as possible. Yeah. Mr. Leon, do you have any contacts you can contact for us? No. No, I don't have anybody that's willing to work against Red X right now. Do you know any crazy people? He just smirks. Oh, yeah. I know a guy. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> he does start laughing. You can tell he's just trying to shake off the stress. All right. Um. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Do. Okay. So, do, do you think everybody on the Blood Rush team knows A? Uh, maybe. Oh, you know, I got an idea. He is the Blood Rush captain. Pull me once. He was stalling us. Pull me twice. He was stalling us again. Eli, do you hear that? Yeah. It's the sound of a train! Chugga chugga! I'm kidding. <laughs> We'll call back. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. What, Jasper? So, Jasper got it right. Jasper, you get it with the train for two. For... Oh shit! Hold on. He gets hit with a train. <laughs> my... <laughs> I think I just broke my computer. Oh, no. <laughs> I, just... I just broke. My I gotta run over to Jasper. No, I'm kidding. He doesn't get hit with the train. Oh. I, I swear, you guys better be pissed off. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Like 3,827 ja damage, Jasper. You're now dead. Anyways. I take Jasper's head as a memento. <laughs> no, dude. Okay. okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, continue, guys. So, what would y'all like to do? Uh. So, what did you say, Mr. Leo? I, nothing. Just that I know a guy. No, after that about the Blood Rush team. Hey, he's the captain of the Blood Rush team. It, everybody on the team should and do does know him. So, do you think they would want to get A back? I don't know. I don't know. They know our address now. Huh? They know our address now. Oh no. Look, if Red X is just after A, then they're not gonna come after you guys. They're not gonna take the fight to you. So we take the fight to them. I'm not losing A. I wish I knew what their plan was. I wish I knew what they were doing. You need everybody on your team. Guys. Find a leader, I don't care who it is, and y'all need everybody. Ray, Nix, you, and you, both of you. What do you guys need to know about Red X? Where are they located? Huh? Where's like their HQ located? They don't have an HQ. No? No, they are scattered. They don't leave any traces. They don't leave tracks. They don't leave anything. They are scattered everywhere. Sure about that? Yeah. There was claw marks. Left by a dark ren with claws. Maybe it wasn't a dark ren. As he's, uh, goes down to look at the claw marks. Did you ever see how Stitch could copy powers? No. Okay, well, Stitch can copy powers. Oh wait, do you think, like, he turned invisible whenever we let him in? No, maybe he learned how to copy forms, too. But, yeah, it's possible that he turned invisible. So... Yeah. Build a plan, guys. 
Well, I think we should just go walking in the city. I believe we'll find Red X quicker that way. It's usually how it is. Oh, we're just gonna walk around while A could be getting killed. Mr. Well, Leon, how else Mr. Leon teleports away. Okay, how are we supposed to find Red X? Give me something, Jasper, if you got some. What? Okay, Hello? I have no idea whatsoever. Okay. As Mr. Leon um, teleports back with a, like a chip. Oh god. What's that? You want one? Do you want I one? Like I mean, okay. Um, he just says, Red X isn't gonna kill him. Okay, that's, what are they gonna do? That's not what they do. They don't kill. Killing, too much heat. Selling. Oh no. So they're in the slavery business? Human trafficking? Trafficking, yes. Slavery, not so much. It's a little bit of the, I sell a gun to you, you go out and shoot somebody, not my problem. Oh. So they're using people as weapons. I don't know what the people are using people for. All I know is this. They're probably going to capture him. Level him up a lot. But before that, break him down into a zombie. Then level him up. Then sell him. So, it's basically like flipping a house. What'd you say? It's basically like flipping a house. Exactly. And they have a near 100% success rate. That's what? fantastic. Everybody that's gotten away hasn't really talked about what happened there. Probably got threatened. Maybe. But if you guys are going to find A, I'm coming with. All right. On one condition. What? You bring the rest of your team with you. Deal. Other than that, we just sit tight right now. Mm -hmm. What would you guys like to do now? Out of character. I want to think. You want to think? Yeah, I want to think about what's going on, you know, uh, is there any connections in any ways to chat, anything to do with the Red X, I just want to think. I want to use my brain. Well, feel free to think out loud. Okay. Wow. Okay, you really put me on the spot there. Okay. Um... What is there any way possibly that I could see that we could track Red X? So, what if does Red X have like the X on their back? Ah, that's in character battle. They always have Brown an X somewhere on their somewhere on them. Okay, so what if we like have like a tracker of like all the security cameras in the city and we put down red x and it tags anybody wearing a red x mr leon looks at you and says 
How would we hack every single camera in the city? I know there's some really smart people out there. Yeah, but I don't know who you would get. Do you know a hacker? <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be awesome. Well, you would have. <laughs> it would, but he's currently being kidnapped by Red X. And taken to, um... There's another person getting kidnapped? No, you dumbass. A. Oh, it's A. <laughs> I didn't know A was a hacker. He's just really good with computers, that's it. Well. Wait, I bet he was the one who hacked into my tent day account. Your what? Your what? My tent day account. What is this dude talking about? No. Okay. Think. Opposite of a fort. A tent. Opposite Fortnite. of night. Day. Do y'all not know it's day and night? So, I took all four. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt him. I'm gonna hurt him. <laughs> I took the opposite and brought him around. So like antonyms, yeah, I get it. Okay, we can move on now. We can move on now. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he was the one who hacked my account. No. No, he's a white hat hacker. What's that? He hacks for money for for corporations, just good corporations. He doesn't do anything illegal. Hmm. Hmm. I'll click on some fishy link. What'd you say? I didn't. No. No. Uh. I mean. Oh. Oh. Wait. Um, I put a tracker on him, like, a couple of days back. You like? Like, a Sims card, so we could track it. You put a tracker on who, Duro says. Hey! You mean Stitch, you like? No, I put a Sims card on A. You put so a Sims card on it. Stitch. Dad, I'm paused. Or not dad. Um, dad, I'm gonna, I'm dad. Pa okay. <laughs> Shut up! Eli, I can almost guarantee you it was Stitch, bro. I was thinking it was... No, you had to roll for Stitch. That's why you're thinking. Because he was like, <laughs> starting to come towards us. And I slid the SIM card into uh, A's back pocket. Okay. You can check the recording. And that I will. Alright. Waking up Gucci on my PJ. <laughs> Jasper, what? Bro, Gucci PJs is like a Okay, guys. Are we gonna focus on trying to find your friend or what? I, I thought you was gonna go look at the recording. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, can I... Am I allowed to go with the Sims card thing? Are you allowing it? Because I did put it on Sims. Yeah, I guess you can, but... Alright. So, um... Yeah. Do you know anyone who could track that? Track a Sims card? Yeah. Why would you put a Sim card on him if you couldn't track it yourself? I didn't, I can't personally do it, but there are people who can do it with basic, like, knowledge. Actually, if you know anyone at the police force, they can do it. 
Yeah, sure. I can go give it to an officer. All right. Give me the card uh, and I'll be back. All right. Uh, he grabs the card and starts walking out. Okay. <sighs> it took you guys so long to realize, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Nothing, I'm just reminiscing. <laughs> oh. What would you guys like so... to do now? Uh, Mr. Leon has left. I want to start doing push-ups to get my mind off of dying, trying to save A, A, dying, whatever. Just spontaneously does push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm depressed. Push-ups! A lot of people do that. <laughs> I know, I do it. Mr. Leon's not going to be back for a while. Okay. I am hungry, so I'm going to go get food now. Jasper, what do you want to do, man? In the end, what, what if we go to school? <laughs> Jasper, if we go to school, who's going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's pretty funny. Isn't there other classes? Surely we all just have one class. Oh yeah, sure. Betray Mr. Leon like that. Okay. All right. All right. In the kitchen, I want to start making some chicken wings. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. You make your chicken wings, you know? Yella, you made your chicken wings. Awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna turn on the TV. Mm -hmm. uh, do I see a comedy, like a horror, like what? Sure. On the TV? Sure, why not? Oh, sorry. What are you apologizing for? Oh, I thought I did something wrong. No, I said, yeah, sure. sure. Also, Dave, your stream has been like paused the entire time. No, oh, never mind, you're streaming still. Yeah, dude, um, I've just been on the same thing for the past 20 minutes. Uh, so what do I see? Like a horror? Like a comedy? Yes, whatever you want. <laughs> awesome, I want to turn on some cartoons. <laughs> Jasper, what are you wanting to do? <laughs> I knew he was going to respond with a weird noise. Jasper, what do you want to do? I guess. What the f is, what is up with your mom? Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> what was that? He turned into a zombie. <laughs> then he went to a little girl. Uh, yeah, I was like, the fuck? As you guys hear at your front door. Oh boy. I go to the front door and look out the people. Alright, hold on. Alright. There we go. There we go. Oh no! No! Hold on. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had full panic right now. Hold on, give me just give me a second, hold on. I'm gonna lose my mind! Alright, there we oh, go. Yeah. Alright, hold on, just give me a minute. Take, Take a good time to yourselves, guys. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back, y'all. 
where we last left off. <sighs> Oopsie daisies. So, okay, are you guys watching stream? Yeah. Perfect. Ah, oh, this guy. Hold on, not that guy. So where we last were, you guys uh, heard a... Check that peephole. Uh, you check the peephole, and it's this girl. She's just kind of standing there. She is breathing through the mask. Hold on, wait. Raven? Jasper gets struck down by lightning. <laughs> That was, out of of that, was, yeah, that was out of character. <laughs> I trust that that was. Jasper, you're just kind of looking through the people, bro. Hey, Negan. Yeah. So you know how we just got visited by Red X? Uh-huh. There's another strange person at the door. Can you come here? Yeah. Uh, I want to start moving my feet quickly, but not running. So, like, you know how you do when you're on a carpet and you're trying to gather static electricity? Like that. It's uh, the shimmying, and like I said, it's the time at which you run, not uh, the time at which you move, not the level at which you move. Okay, I want to run really, really fast to the door. Okay. I want to look through the people. Uh, you see this lady. Okay. Yeah. Now, when I looked through the peephole, I didn't necessarily stop. I, like, moved my head and took a turn. Now I'm walking forward until I go to another room and finally get back to where I was. Okay. <laughs> bro for real just said, bro for real just said, oh, look, a penny! Uh, Jasper, that would be your turn. Turn? You guys aren't in combat. Oh, okay. Uh, should I open this? No. I yell from across the hall. She just... Again. Hello? Wait, is... Hello? She says on the outside. Uh, she looks very concerned. Who are you? <laughs> are you guys okay? I heard some ruckus in there. I mean, uh, right, yeah. no. I mean, us, yeah, but... I mean, we're physically fine. Okay. Uh, Eli, she can't hear you. You're across the hall. I'm yelling. The door's shut, Who too. Oh, okay. Can, can you open the door so we can talk? Can you tell me who you are first? <laughs> okay. My name is Lila. Uh, I think that's probably uh, Mr. Leon's uh, person. I got a question for you. Hmm. You with Mr. Leon? No, but I know him. How do you know him? He's my mom's uncle. Kinda. So like a great uncle? Mm-hmm. Why are you here exactly? Are you okay? <laughs> She's addressing the fact that you're just talking to her through the closed door. I mean, we had some stuff happen. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just moved in next door. I just wanted to tell you guys that. Bye. She. Kinda, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She starts. I'll run me. quickly. <laughs> Hi. Are you a theta or alpha? What? Are you a theta or alpha? Can you help us with our friend? I'm a theta, yeah, but what is an L? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, she... Don't worry about it. 
Um, so, what's your, like, powers, and do you want to help us? My powers? Yeah. Um, I don't know how to explain... Uh, as she just... Can you get me a piece of paper or something you don't care about? Yeah. Doing a sharp U-turn. Uh, continually walking inside. I do those curves flawlessly as I grab a piece of paper while non-stop walking and I'm out in less than two minutes. <laughs> okay. There as you go. She grabs the piece of paper and, um... You see, like, a red electricity come from her hand surround the paper as it disappears like uh the electricity disappears and the paper starts turning into like dust so you have death I think and then um the dust kind of like fades off and you can just see it turn into pure energy so you got like you got like a death power like death lightning no it's antimatter Okay, why didn't you just say that? Because it's a lot easier to show than to explain. Okay. Uh, so do you want to help us? I it's kind of weird for don't, you to ask. I know. don't know you as she starts backing away. You know your uncle, though, and he's with us. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, uh, I don't really see him. Megan, oh. you know how this sounds, right? This is like candy in a van. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, Eli. Man. Eli, don't pull a divine, Eli. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. Uh, I, I'm still just like walking in circles right now. But, <laughs> she um, seems more freaked out by the fact that you're walking in circles than what you just said. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, he had currently left. I think he's going to run a track on some, on our friend who is missing. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's still backing away. That? How is she supposed to believe that? I mean... Okay, well, what if I just, like... <laughs> she backs off the property. <laughs> what if I just have, like, Mr. Leon just... Eli, Eli, you were trying so desperately hard to fix this. Yeah, well, I'll just have <laughs> Mr. Leon to just come talk to you. She runs to her house and walks inside. Well, good job, Negan. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's gonna be the end of the session, y'all. Alright, good.